If you have a purpose to what you're doing, it do it. Right? For example, let's just say you want to go to Jamaica yeah. or something. For example, you want to have to pay it. What if you don't know? What if you was going on that plane and you was going to sit next to somebody that was going to change your life? Or that plane wasn't even going to land. Or the plane wasn't going to land. You don't know. This is the chances we take. But what if that, that like, like, you feel what I'm saying? But we don't want to take that trip because we don't got the money yet. But there's an opportunity for you to go. But what if that, you never know, right? So what I'm saying is, if you have the opportunity to have a way to go, that's why it's two sides of it. If you have the opportunity to do something, do it. I, see, I right? think, you know, I you think that makes else? more sense. If you want to save, I feel like that, save, though. I feel like that makes sense for the people who aren't normally doing shit. You know, you know something? You know, you know, before we get into the episode, I don't like this because I know you've been through some shit. Because only a motherfucker yeah. that been through some shit can say some shit like that about and life. be so yeah. adamant. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. I can tell. <laughs> nigga said, "Nigga, I didn't get a chance to do this. You so don't think if I'm gonna I get do a chance to do it, nigga, yeah. I'm gonna do it. That's I've been locked up, nigga. Nah, but no, on some we we are locked up. We are mentally. You feel me? I, I want to. It's a cold theory I have. But like when I was in that situation, I was free." I tell people you know what's today. funny? I hear that often. So I was free. Where a lot of people as tell me the they didn't pen, find their mental freedom until they got locked up. But I was free in there. Matter of fact, fuck that. Welcome to Weed and Whiskey Podcast, the best motherfucking podcast coming straight from fucking Connecticut. Yeah. If you didn't know, you yeah. know now, motherfucker. They always knew it, Y'all already yeah. know, man. We only do great motherfucking personalities, and tonight is no motherfucking different. Why? Because we ourselves is great, and we gravitate to other great motherfucking people, and we bring great people yes. to you. It's all great, nigga. Yes, it's a yes. cycle of greatness, it's and you're great. involved in this because you, my friend, are great. Uh-huh. You're great, and yeah. I thank you. For being great mm-hmm. because it motivates me to continue to be even greater. We're in competition, friendly competition of who can be the greatest. Yes. 47 forms are great. Don't you ever fucking forget it. Facts, man. And tonight, like I said, no motherfucking different, man. Ah, damn, I forgot to ask you how you really wanted to be introduced, but I'm going to just free ring, freestyle this bitch. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah. You can yeah, um... a little bit when I'm done. Fuck, you can do <laughs> yourself when I'm done. All right, fuck that. You know, again, great personalities <laughs> in here, man. And honestly, it it's moments like this. That makes me enjoy meeting new people. It's moments like this that makes me thankful that I am the person that I am, that I'm open to meet new people. Mm -hmm. Because you don't understand how much you're limiting yourself from life, from perspectives, from just seeing the world, unless you meet new people. And he, like, literally was a great epitome of that tonight and i'm mm-hmm. grateful for that because just the conversations we have he is mentally beyond a lot of the average people he literally can turn nothing into something i can literally tell and yeah. honestly I, like I, I respect that man i can i, like I can that. see that already yeah, like, like, i can see that you have that I'm energy and motivation cry, yeah. and and and, and <laughs> appreciate I, that that's why i said that's why i'm thankful to be that person that to be open-minded enough to meet new people because when you meet new people it it really shows how great the world really is through other people Mm -hmm. and you are a reflection of that as well too for somebody who can be locked up for so long and basically can come out with so such smile come out with such freedom such grace like that's a a great reflection of you as a person as a man honestly because a lot of people come out bitter regardless of what it is so the fact that you could come out like just so light of a person like that that that's beautiful on some real yeah. shit. So I'm grateful to have you in the studio tonight. We have ABM in the building. That's how yeah. I'm gonna introduce you tonight. Yeah, <laughs> hey, hey yeah. you forgot ABM. one thing. He's also a trained physicist. <laughs> Wait, what's that? What's that? What's that? I'm. Just, hey, I got sense, right? But sometimes I hear new words that I've never heard before, and it makes sense. But I tell myself if I don't know something, I ask. So that's to make me the smartest man alive because I'm never scared. <laughs> To ask, no, what wait. is that? You know, it's gonna be funny, right? right? You know, it's gonna be funny. It's gonna make us look more stupid now, cause probably none of us gonna be able to explain yeah. it verbatim. But what if I know? <laughs> but look, I always do that. I said, I said, man, I said, listen, I'm not the nah, smartest man I'm alive. It right but if I now. wanted to be the smartest man alive, Yo, I would listen, have to always on. ask the, questions facts. to what I don't facts. know. Facts. That's, That's how you only, the I, listen, that's how you 100%, the right? 100%, I agree. Uh, 100% yeah, for sure. uh, subscribe to that philosophy <laughs> right there. Yeah. I'm the same I way. ask questions no matter what. Mm-hmm. I don't it's okay to say I don't know. I don't yeah, care exactly. what it is. Okay. Exactly. I don't know. However, a physicist is somebody that study, studies physics. Okay, 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 for sure. 
which you know involves the. I the do, you know, I, yeah, yeah. I shit. You know I wouldn't even call myself that. I'm gonna call myself a. Uh, I study life. I respect mm. that. Even better, I respect that. Cause honestly, I feel like those are the true ex- experts, the mm. people who study life. You can study a book, and you can study the books that other people write as much as you want. For sure. But oh yeah. shit, I'm not gonna cut you off. Hold on, I ain't even fully introduced myself. Oh go ahead, it's right your right turn. In introduce man. yourself now. It's your turn. A B M C T. How y'all doing? There you go. Yeah. Oh, the whole CT is involved in it as well too. I put CT. So you bring CT everywhere you go. I had to. I respect that. So the I whole time to. he's out in Cali, you was repping CT all the way. Yeah, I got a six show title on my hand. The uh, Husky. The uh, Husky. I Even though you never there. seen a Husky game yeah, a day in your life. I've never seen him play. I'm not yeah, joking. What made you do it though? Just because you're from Connecticut? Hey, look, yeah. yeah represent. You gotta represent. <laughs> so you basically was like, you know what? What's the most Connecticut thing I can do? I could do, on? right? Because look, here, think about it. Like, all right. Um, when I went to California, uh, and I got into my little situation, they all called me Connecticut. Mm. CT, CT, CT. So hey, yo, that's CT right that's there. That's CT. So my name became CT. You got to think about it. So for, so for five and a half years, I've been called CT. I didn't even hear my real name for that long. Yeah. That's all I heard was CT, CT mm-hmm. or AO Connecticut. Damn. That's it. Like, so you had like, no matter what, that shit was I let them know you. off top. Where you, where you from? Oh, man, I'm from the East Coast. Oh, like New York. No, nah, I'm from Connecticut. I'm not from New York. I let them, because mm. a lot of people that get we'll locked to, up that yeah. was from the East Coast, even if, if they was from Pennsylvania, anywhere on the East Coast, New they would just say New, New York. York. That's out. Nah, nigga, I'm around. Nah, yeah, because we got it. Nah, yeah, because we got to That's separate all the way out. So now, like, you know, I started, I learned, I learned how to do tattoos in there, too. Cut hair. I did all type of shit. Cut hair. Nigga said he tattoos. fought fires. He said he fought yeah. fire. Nigga. <laughs> Nigga was selling Cook dope. State. Yeah. Yeah. Cook Cook nigga, nigga had phones. Hey, what type of shit? Like, cool, man. But yeah, Cook is it's only nigga from Connecticut yeah. that go to jail that got that many jobs. Well, that all type of shit. Jamaican though. Come on, yeah. right. Right. Yo, right. stop playing with a bud man. Stop hey, it. Y'all in the ki- like, you gotta work in the kitchen. <laughs> you know, you know what's so crazy about that whole situation is um, I wasn't even supposed to. I wasn't even supposed to get locked up. Um. <laughs> It was not, I'm sorry it's to laugh. I'm sorry to laugh. The, I wasn't supposed to. Now that's real, right? Explain. Right? Because, all right, so I, um, I was on probation for uh, a robbery, right, in California. All right? Now, even though I was innocent for that robbery, I'm not understanding wait, the Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Wait, you gotta run a dog. You gotta oh, it get yeah. wrong. It get wrong. That's a whole long oh, no, story. No, no, no. You heard what I said? <laughs> it's a whole long story. I feel I'm, like if I was watching this, I had to play this one back. Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah, whole yeah. Long So story. you got you was on probation for a robbery. Yeah, but you were innocent yeah, for that robbery. Whatever. No, 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 no. Hit me. Let me let me run it back. <laughs> it sound weird. It sound crazy, right? But it's watch like, how I, how I fuck it up. Yeah, you be like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm already fucked up. Right? I'm all right. All right, so look, so look, all right. all right. So a situation happened where I get caught up for a robbery case, right? Now, I could have beat that case, but instead of taking that case to trial, they offered me a six year suspended sentence, um, a strike, and um five years probation. And I get to go home today. Okay. All you hear is go home today. That's all I heard. <laughs> I'm going to take everything else. Like, yeah, watch this up. It was an OG. I don't know if it's always an OG. They tell mm-hmm. you, right? It was an OG in this, the waiting cell that I was talking to my case about. And he was like, youngster, don't you take that deal, nigga. They don't got shit on you. Just take fight it and you'll beat it. I said, hell no, nigga. I'm going I'm home going today. Home. I'm gone, nigga. If you fight your case, nigga. I'm out. Nigga. <laughs> Fuck you talk about, nigga. It's not your like, life, nigga. It's my life. But the worst thing I did was the six year suspended sentence. Yeah. Mm. That that's the part that got you. It's like Explain what exactly it, what that is. It's that right there is They hold the six years over your head if you do anything wrong. Oh, it's like um, every case carry six years. Okay. So they said we're gonna let you out. But if you get in trouble in the next five in years, any way, in any way, you're fucked. You got this six years we're going to give to you. Oh, shit. Exactly. Yeah, that's what that is. That's... On top of whatever new charge you catch. 
So you have to do this. So what if you catch you you catch a new charge? It don't matter. You gonna get that new charge time and six years plus. <laughs> that six years. Damn. That's 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 like. That's called double jeopardy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever the fuck they call it. That's, that's called... That, it's a catch-22. It, it is. It's the most fucked up thing ever, right? Mm-hmm. California was doing that, right? I took it. Just because you got to go home today. I got to go <laughs> home today, but guess what? About like four, five months later, I get pulled back in for attempted murder, attempted robbery. Yeah. So wait, you took charge for something you didn't do yeah. to like pretty much go down later. for a pretty much the same fucking yeah. shit plus some. Yeah, right? Wasn't me though, right? So I, I got pulled over at the stoplight. You know, I thought it was a random check. They're like, "Yeah, let me run you." They're like, "Yeah, man, you got a warrant." I said, "How the fuck I got a warrant?" I <laughs> man, I didn't. I didn't. I- I, st- I like whipping pizza. Though. Wait, that's another story, right? So I like, I'm whipping pizza. You talking about me, nigga? I just, right? I just got it. I'm whipping pizza. I'm going to work. Pull me over, talking about you got a warrant out for attempting. Well, yeah, yeah, we just gonna take you in. Yeah, it's good. Just clear it up. Come on, time with us. Just clear it up, right? Yeah, you oh, good, bro. Right. 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 So I seen the lawyer. He like, bro, you're looking at a lot of time. I'm like, for what? I didn't do nothing, right? But what it was is, uh. They were looking for someone with that was six feet tall, 180 pounds, with shoulder length dreadlocks. So they put me in a six pack because of my previous case was similar to this. So they put me in a six they, pack. They they profile you pretty yeah. much. Yeah, I was the only nigga with six pack, only nigga with dreads in a six pack lineup. All right, I took that case all the way to trial at one. Like, because you learned your lesson from I the took first a, one. Yeah, right. But <clears throat> the thing about it, it was like. They were offering me 24 years. Damn. So in my head, I'm like, let's go to trial. Yeah, well, I'm mm-hmm. fighting that. I said because, no, no, it was, tw- they wanted me to take 12 years. If I lose trials, 24 years. Mm. But I'm like, 12 years is too much. I might as well kill me on me. How old were you at the time? I'm going to take the 24 I was years. 20, I was, well, this was 2000. When are you allowed to have? 2016, January 2016. Yeah, so I had to be 24. Yeah, I think we're on there. 24, somewhere around there? <clears throat> yeah, around there. 23, mm-hmm. 24. Right? So, so like, damn, I'm high as hell. So you'd have been like 36 there? if you took that 12 right there. You'd have been 36 yeah, yeah. if you came out. Yeah, so I told myself, I said, man, I'm so much, y'all going to have to kill me. Like, I might as well, like, I told myself, I said, if I lose trial, I'm going to try to fight Stuff that bitch with hella hair on and just eat that shit. I'm not finna be in prison for 24 years. I'm finna see what something <laughs> yeah, else like. Yeah. But I came to terms. I said I'm finna see what something else like. Okay. like. I'm not finna be. I'm not finna be here for 24 years in the right. same position. You crazy yeah, as shit. Yeah. I'm, I'm got, I got nothing go. to lose but to fight it. At yeah, this point. right. So, but anyways, I beat that sure. case for because of a uh, mistaken identity. Right. Mm-hmm. I took it all the way to trial. 90 days. My judge, my lawyer, was telling me, um. You're gonna lose. I had a public defender. He kept yeah. telling me, "You're gonna lose. You're gonna lose." I was like, "Why?" He was like, "Because you're not giving me time to fight your case." And I was like, "He's like, you keep every time I keep asking to waive time, you keep saying no. You gotta stand in the judicial system. When they ask somebody, uh, would you like to waive time? Everybody always says yes. yes, right? But you don't understand. Like, we are only, all right, going to trial should take you ninety days. So if you in jail fighting your case for two, three years, no offense, but you stupid." With all due respect, because you got 90 days. You can't, it don't matter what you do in life, right? You can't find nobody guilty in 90 days. Facts. Mm. But if matter. you give them time. But if you give them time. They have enough room to talk to the right person. They convict your dumb ass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you got 90 days to do it. So why am I waving time? Because think about it. If your lawyer not prepared, they're not prepared. Let me tell you something. You don't have a side. Never forget that, right? If you're you innocent your until proven guilty, you have no side. Fact. Your lawyer yeah. has no case. Fact. Never forget that. So when your lawyer says he got to build a case for you, that means he's working with the other side, side. no mm-hmm. matter what you're talking about. Just get a about. deal. Bro, look, on some real shit, can't nobody find you guilty of nothing, even dead bang in 90 days. I'm not joking with that. You got to think about it. 
Niggas got to go on dates. Niggas got, the judge got to go to work. The judge got to go on vacation. The judge got to go to his kids. They got regular life shit going on So they got to convict you to a calendar <clears throat> date. It's going to take more than 90 days to convict you. Fact. Nigga, they got lives. Nigga, how you going to find a jury in 90 days? Nigga, everybody got lives right now. Fact. You know how hard it is to find a jury of your peers in motherfucking a year versus 90 days? You got to think about what I'm talking about right now. That's fact. It's impossible to do it. Yeah, because now the, judge, the lawyers have to go through judge selection, jury Stop selection. Playing. And that's not easy and quick as Bro, well, too. Because they're on, trying to take time days, with everything, too. In, that's why they say, would you like to waive your time? And everyone says, yes. yes. And when you say that... Nigga, they got the right to waive it for a year from today, nigga. And how you sitting down. That goes back to like a saying that I, I learned. It's so like, that's why niggas be two, three years. They caught. Monday. Give a fuck about you. <laughs> the judge don't give a fuck about you. Yeah. It's Just point one. Case. He don't case. give a fuck about you. He going to get paid regardless. Regardless. Regardless, right? So, me knowing that now, I go, you know what? No. The judge get mad. The lawyer get mad. No, I'm not waving time. Kept doing that. Push it all the way to trial. Because now, if you force them to work, they're going to just they try to mad, make it quick so right? they can not work. Come on, man. The judge told me straight up. He said, look. He was like, you want to go to trial? I said, yep. He go, if you lose, I'm about to give you every bit of 24 years. I'm going to make sure. Because you're just pissing them off. Yeah, he said, I'm going <laughs> to make sure you get Every bit. I said, come on. <laughs> right? And one thing I knew is that, remember I told you, they were looking for somebody that was 180 pounds. Yeah, you ain't tall, nowhere. You ain't nowhere. With, with sort of left dreadlocks. Pounds. Yes, I had dreadlocks at the time. But you ain't fit nothing but you ain't Nigga, no I ain't been 180 pounds, nigga, since, since the fifth grade. I done told niggas. <laughs> nigga, my mama took me to the doctor, nigga, was like, nigga, you weigh too much. Nigga, when I was in the fifth grade, she took me to the doctor, and they told me I hit 200 grade. in the fifth grade. <laughs> God damn. I said 180. I was trying to make myself feel skinny, but I remember that <laughs> doctor visit now. And the doctor was like, your son's overweight. So I was 200, nigga, since the fifth grade. <laughs> 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 Bro, <laughs> you should have seen him play football. Yo, yo, not even doing the so, so I knew that, right? So I go, I don't give a fuck. What y'all talking about? I want the jury to believe I'm 180 pounds. Beat my case, but that didn't even matter, right? Because I beat my case. I thought, you know, they found me not guilty. I'm like, yes, man. Oh, dad, on the judge and all of that. He got mad. See, the dad was big at the time. Do you dad know? Yeah. <laughs> that, you know, you know when everybody was. Oh, it's kind of like it's kind of like how the, the nigga cussed out his HR managers and started getting sturdy on them. Oh <laughs> no, I didn't see that. I That's did not the same see shit that. you just did. I dabbed on the judge when they said not guilty. I started crying. I said, "Oh, uh, <laughs> the judge, get, get, get him out of my courtroom." I said, "Ah, oh, shit." Say less. Right, say less. But I got this probation hearing, right? I somehow oh. didn't remember about. But I thought that they were going to bring it back to my judge that put me on probation for that six years. Remember I told you I had six yeah. years on my head. But the judge, the other judge, prior to my trial judge goes, if you get found not guilty, I'm going to reinstate you and let you free. I'm going to just put you back on probation. Because technically, you, if you find I not didn't guilty, do never anything happened. wrong. Technically, right. That's fact on fact. Yeah. I didn't do anything wrong, Right. Man, the judge, the trial judge goes, when I go back to court, I see the trial judge, and I'm like, what he doing here? Uh, right? So trial judge, he gets uh, right on the stand from hearing my probation. He goes, I heard enough of this case, and I get to decide whether you could go on probation or not. <laughs> I'm not bringing this to the other judge because I have jurisdiction over this trial. And he was like, I think you did it. <laughs> He's trying to get revenge from the previous one. Man, I think he's trying to get revenge on that dab on me. Because <laughs> the dab was big at this time. I don't know why I'm putting it on his dab, but I feel like he dabbed on me for like almost no, six years. Yo, that is fucked up, right? bro. I don't mean to bring that up, but the dab fucked me up because why else would he be mad at me? I don't know this you nigga. You're a little bit too hard. But I shit it on him, nigga. I took him to trial. In 90, <laughs> you got to think about it. When's the last time you heard of a trial going in 90 days? That haven't happened in over the next, like, 60, 70 years, nigga. That ain't never happened. Like, this is all 
you, this is all online. This is not like some, you know what I mean? Look up my name and all that shit and find it type shit. Like, you feel me? So a 90-day trial has never happened in about, when's the last time you heard of a 90-day trial? Shit, look at the Amber like, Heard and on John the Death case. That shit went on. That should be for two, three years, two years. Yeah. Like, they still trying to convict the Nipsey shit. Like, you gotta understand, like, mm-hmm. a trial in three, 90 days is crazy, and I did it and won. And plus, why would you want to be locked up for that whole time trying to free yourself? I was to that get defeats out the of purpose. It. That defeats the fucking you feel purpose. Me? A person, so I think I think right? he was mad at he, the situation. I dabbed on that motherfucker. He right? mad. He and mad. I put that made, icing on the cake. You I, made him rush this shit. Rush this shit. He probably had to fuck his bitch. Dabbed on him. Nigga probably right? had blue balls. <laughs> I remember my law, my lawyer standing up and going. He goes, "Your Honor, you 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 can't play God." This is all in my, I got all my paperwork. So I kept that shit like a trophy. <laughs> like I said, yo, you, you're riding there like you can't play God, and the judge go, well today I can. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that shit. I got this in writing. I I done read this shit along. You gotta think how much time I have read this shit. Right? <laughs> well today I can. <laughs> today I can. I'm revoking your probation for six years, and I've said this to you for six years, and I'm like, he was like. He was like, and they asked me, do I understand? And I go, I look at my lawyer, I go, I said, tell him I'm incompetent. And then the judge goes, sir, my client is incompetent. (laughs) And the judge go, he's not incompetent because he knows what incompetent means. (laughs) (laughs) I said, fuck. I'm too smart. Nigga, he said he's not incompetent. He knows what incompetent means. He used it correctly. Said, how he can used he it be? correctly. How, how, can, can, he, how he can he be stupid? I said, damn. I tried to diagnose myself on the spot. Like, how can he be that dumb if he can oh, diagnose himself? Oh, fuck, man. That didn't work out. But yeah, um... Yeah, that was, that was, that was fucked up. Six years and I was innocent the whole time. Even on, online when you look at it, it says it, you know, and it, you're like... Still serving six years while um, convicted from all like of all wrongdoings, all charges, of yeah. all charges. It doesn't even make sense. My whole time there was just ridiculous. Like that didn't even make sense to me. Like <laughs> what was? All right, all right. No in facts. We have to go back to this. I have to go back to this before we. Um, you said San Quentin was the, it's the PC prison because they on TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fact. Yeah. So you said anybody yeah. who's at going to St. Quentin, the PC look, prison, look, I'm right. I'm automatically. Just think about it this way. How much information is you giving on they got a TV show and your face is on it? Yeah, you, you know when they be like in the 30 days in prison or some yeah. shit, and they be like, Yeah, man, we be in here. Your face on TV. You ain't you you know you telling. Like you too comfortable. You like a telling honor. <laughs> like, like my thing is, I right, I'm not gonna say the whole San Quentin is a PC yard. Yeah. But like a large percentage of it is. You're only gonna see any prison. Any prison you see on TV, best believe they're all protective custody. You're not finna see ain't no real nigga finna sign no paperwork saying I'm finna be on TV. Mm. Facts. Mm-hmm. Facts. That's facts. Like, it don't matter what you talking about, nigga. I've been here for 100 years. You think I want to be on TV, nigga? Nigga, even the, the, the nigga the who win the lottery don't want to be on TV. What makes you think the like, nigga... Come on, you got to think that? about it. Like, or oh, whatever yeah. it is. You think, I, you think yeah. I want my kids? Think about You got to think about it. You think, you think I want my kids to see me on TV? On like TV. this? And like this? Talking about like my this. mama? Ain't no real nigga finna go go through that. So Facts. That's some protective custody, PC, Because a lot of these street niggas, their parents still think they just do construction. Facts. <laughs> But, but you know, you know what I, I want to say, cause, but you know what, back to the other thing we said earlier when I was telling you that being incarcerated is free. Yeah. Yes. Elaborate on that a little bit, cause I honestly, like I said, I heard that on multiple occasions where people say, I didn't even realize how trapped I was until I got locked up. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna name so I'm gonna tell you why prison is free. Let me tell you why you're free. Go ahead. Free phones. 
I'm talking about like that pay phone collect. You talking about I, like the Obama phones? No, 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 no. I'm talking about let's say I'm in prison. Like I go on that collect phone, that that pay, prepay phone. Every time I pick up, somebody else on the other side pay. So mm. that was free for me. Talk to you was free for me. Okay. Clothes free. Free. Food free. Free. Water free. Free. Um, school free. Free. Uh, like college, like that's it. A lot of niggas get their degrees yeah, in jail. Free, free. Like um, weight room. No, but they took all the weights out. You know like, who's paying for it? But me. Um, yeah. In in a long run, in a long run, but not really. In a sense, it's kind of the other way around because prisons actually build a community. It is, like I said, it's a cycle. Prison prisons build a community, not the other way around. Uh, no, we prison build a community, but. We build the classrooms that you be in to learn. Like for, like for example, like, all right, we we gonna get to that. We are gonna get to that in a minute. We are gonna get to that in a minute, right? But right, right, but let me tell you the free part. We are gonna get to that in a minute, mm-hmm. right? So, free water, free exercise, free food, um, free everything. For me, somebody it's on somebody else's bill. Even if somebody else gave me this money, it's not, not me. Mine, yeah. It's mm-hmm. somebody else's money. It's free, right? Now you mean to tell me y'all gave me all this time to just think? Think about it. You yeah. gave me all this time to just think and reflect. And then you gave me books. I'm being real about that shit. They got so much books. You got to think about it. Now nah, they got phones in prison. But this is a nigga who's making the so best out of his circumstances. How much books you think you got? Yeah, for sure. How much books? So they got colleges. They got courses. They got they got shit going on. The mm-hmm. prison is like an organization that run on its own. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's like a it's a machine that's doing the inmates this run the, in, the inmates run the prison. Come on, hell yeah! If the inmates were supposed to sit down, nigga, America would go on the street. Yeah, nigga, I'm serious about you that. You wouldn't get no license plates from the DMV. No, no. If the prison was supposed to just sit down for 48 hours, now I'm being real about that, nigga. You may not go to work no more for a minute. Yeah. It's that serious. Like it's not the other way. Because they control so much of the industry. Come on, stop playing. And it's because there's so much geared towards that. Like you gotta think about that. Like that's cheap labor. Yeah, right. But they they produce so much. That, that's why I made the joke. You won't get no license plates from the DMV. Yeah, you. But it's more than just license I know, plates. I know, but I'm, so, I think everybody can understand that. Fuck I you like everybody to can see understand how that. much it really they do. Like you feel me? They're a running machine. Right? A lot of people are cleaning the linens yeah. that goes in your hotels when you travel. Yeah. A lot of people. But, but back 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 to the fourth thing, free. When you get to the streets. Shit costs. Everything costs. Everything costs. The street costs. Just being on the street costs. And you know how fucked up it is? They give you a $200 gay money. That's it? Yeah, you just say, figure it out. You know how much shit costs. Nigga, your ride back from the pen. It's like almost high. It's nigga, a I had to ride. hop on a train, nigga, back to L.A., nigga, that's from almost, the middle That's like $80 nowhere, right there. Nigga, I was about $50, nigga, <laughs> to get back. So I got $150 to play with for the rest of the figure. Until you figure something out. Try, figure something out. <laughs> It could be tomorrow. It could be tomorrow. It could be in the next three months. Out, right? It's so <laughs> fucked up, right? But so now, as soon as I get out, I gotta find. I gotta get myself locked up in the time. I gotta either find a job or find a hustle or find something going on. So I have to, cause now I got bills. So now bills come apart. You got. You can go back bills. to whipping pizza. You got rent, huh? You can go back to whipping the pizza. Shh, nah. <laughs> you ain't gonna do that. Nah, hell no. Hell no. Hey, look, look, look. Hey, right, hey, hey, look. You know what's so crazy? When I got out, the EDD was going on when I was locked up, though. See, I'm going to be real about that unemployment shit. I have to be real. Like, on some real shit, like, like, how much How much was unemployment during COVID? Yeah. How I much? Mean, me, personally, I was coming home with roughly, like, 800 a week. How much was the first, like, the 1500. first? $1,500. They Stimmy, the first stimmy, the first stimmy, yeah, fifteen, and then it was eight hundred, eight hundred, was it? I didn't get that. No, no, I think, no, no, I think it was fourteen. It was fourteen. Well, no, same thing. And unemployment is when um yeah. unemployment is they gave you six hundred dollars a week. No, it was extra twelve. Twelve, but what? When y'all first got the, did I get like a bank card or something? If you chose to. Yeah, but if, if you got you a go bank to. card, how much was the first like money on there to spend? Yeah, I think it was twelve hundred. Yeah. And then the second oh, one's 14. Yeah. 14. All right, yeah. look, in California, right? That's on my soul. Look, see, I had a phone at this time in there, right? I got shit you going said on. You was locked up at this time. Yeah, I'm locked up. I had shit going on. Now, you had people in there before. There's shit going on. Don't get it twisted. There's more money going on in there than out here. I'm dead serious about that, right? 
But I, yeah, I had this bat pat myself on the back. That phone cost me twenty five hundred. They had a few of those. So. Twenty five hundred. Stop playing. Nigga. You're lying. That's like a, like an Android. Yeah, twenty five hundred. That's serious. Like phones was expensive at this time too. Twenty five hundred. Yeah, so I had a few of them bitches. Like seriously, like. Yeah, that's facts. Yeah. So, but that's a whole other story, right? So, I have my phone, so... 2500 yeah, yeah. Per phone? For a phone. How bad you want the phone, though? I'm yeah. I'm never going to complain when people talk about phones are expensive now. Stop I'm ne- Yo, I'm going to look at them like, you stupid. Niggas are paying more than this pay. in jail. Yeah, and then think about it, they paying and knowing they can lose it. Yes, yeah, say less. I don't feel bad and about selling phones to people And anymore. catch an extra 90 days if you get caught with a phone. Exactly. If you're willing to risk 2500 on on a, on a lo- yeah. possible long-term shit... But it was worth it. Worth it. Trust me. That's it's an investment. People. That is was worth. You got to think about it. If you got a phone, you it. And what kind of phones were these? Yeah, Androids, iPhones, all the phones you think of now. Like, come <clears> on. <throat> they players. They got player phones. Stuff like, right, but it's just. Oh, this is. Yeah. Video, videos, in vi- videos go viral in jail for a reason. Yeah, for sure. It's like, you feel me? But, um, so, doing the EDD shit, like, I, I, I got to be real with myself because this is all, it's all documented. So it's cool to talk about. It. It's fine. Yeah. I'm in California though, and I did the ADD shit out there when I was in the pit. Nigga, what? You gotta think about it. I'm unemployed though, so I'm not lying. Think about the theory right now. Is your EDD like the equivalent for the people? But when I did it, hold on, let me tell you something. When I did it, right? I did it where I had like two months backed up. Mm. So when I finally did it and I got my first Bank of America card, that was a good mom of the money. 15 bands. That's on my soul. And then they stay and stop to 22000 Oh, you can buy a few phones and they have some left over. You got to stay. They ain't stopped to 22000 though. That's when the card like shut off and it was like, whoa, wait, doing too much. See, Connecticut, y'all niggas probably got pennies out here. Niggas in California, you got to think about it. Every, in the pen, you got to think about it. Some people who, so niggas like me who had the juice, see, most people who had the juice would try to get people. See, I had the yeah. juice, and I would try to like a pyramid teach, scheme. Yeah, yeah, but I would teach people mm. how to do it. I tell people. So you got love from people. I tell people. I say, yo, whatever you give me after you get this is on you. I think. But I'm gonna teach about- you how to do it, so you ain't gotta go to nobody because it's your personal information, yeah. nigga. I don't want to know it. Facts. I'm not gonna Facts. play. Don't you. come to me with your personal. Nah, so I'm gonna teach you to, you to get down. Facts. Because I don't even want to know your exactly. shit. Exactly. And once you get it, nigga, just That's look out you. for me. Dude, right. If you don't, I ain't even tripping. It, fact. But just look out for me because you know I didn't get you whatever. But surprisingly, people was like, nigga, 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 I ain't never had no money a day in my life before. Nigga, I love you, bro. Like, That's some yeah. godfather shit. And gave me bread, nigga, because I helped them out. That's godfather shit, shit nigga. They never knew about. Yeah. Right? So you got to understand. Yeah, like people, bro, you got to think about it. Niggas ain't never had money a day in their life. And then they get to go to unemployment and get 16 fucking bands, bro. Yeah. 20 bands, nigga. You're like, a new nigga. Stop playing. Like, that shit helped people's lives. So what I, what I did, I fucked up some money when I was in there, but I still, you know. But when I was able to get out, I didn't need anybody. I was mm-hmm. able to parole to my own home. I had my own car, my own shit stashed up. Mm-hmm. You know, shit I wanted to get into. You know, for my music. You know, I had shit. I had my own shit. I didn't need nobody right. for nothing. Mm-hmm. That was my biggest concern: is getting out and Man, calling somebody nothing. for a dollar. So yeah, it's even though that was my biggest even concern. Even though they give you two hundred, you still have money. Yo, now that you talk Man, like this, two hundred. Man, I probably I spent that on Burger King. <laughs> We're in jail? Burger, no, no we got out. I got out. Oh. Burger King. <laughs> the two hundred King gave and McDonald's. <laughs> like, and my girl at the time, my shorty at the time, look, punk ass bitch. That's another story, right? But at the time, look, she had cooked steak, did all the nice shit, all the cute shit, right? And then she, for me, I took the, 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 the train from like Solano all the way down to LA. That was the longest train ride ever. And then when I got out, she uh, picked me up at the, uh, the, the train station. And then uh, she was like, what, what you want to do? Like I was like, bitch, bring me the Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> she said, are you serious? I got steak at the house. I, I eat that tomorrow. Oh, fuck, oh, I want Burger, Burger King. King. I, right I want now. Burger King. I got so <laughs> much. Look, I went to Burger King, and then right with the, the house I was staying at, because the house that I had got for, you know, I ran, I, I paid three months in advance from the pen yeah. and all that shit. I ain't never seen this place. I just had her get everything. Yeah. I ain't never seen this place. Whatever. So I'm going there. I'm in the hood. She didn't pick the spot in the hood. 
I done got out the pit to Leave the it hood. to her. <laughs> Leave it to her to put me right in the hood. But it was cool, right? Right. It's, it is what it is. It is what it is, right? It was nice as hell inside, though. It's a spot. But, oh, I was in the hood. Oh, damn. I was right next to the donut. <laughs> Once you go outside, come you on, know you man. in the hood. I was in the hood. They had a big ass donut. You see that big ass donut. You see, I was on, uh, no, what was it? Uh, Normandy and, uh, and uh, Century. Jesus. Like, like I, the shit I heard in Normandy. I heard like, in Normandy. The shit, on, the shit that's on uh, yeah. Friday after next. Yeah, yeah. That, I, I lived over there for Holy years. moly donut that, shop. Yeah, no, 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 no. But that donut shop that you see is a little bit down, but we had a big donut shop too. That was pretty So it's just donut too. shops just yeah, all but over. There's two of them, right? There's one that's there's in two different hoods. Mm. Like, I like that. I mean, I moved right to the terror. I moved right to the. Like put me right. But it was it was cool though. It was it was honestly pretty cool. I felt more safe there than anywhere else. And be like that. Yeah, them niggas. Yeah, everybody. It'd be like that. Like the light. There's a lot of lighters around. I got one in my pocket on me. <laughs> all right, but so yeah. all right, so you said you went through all of this um, in like a twelve year span from you moving from Connecticut yeah. to Cali. Yeah. So before I go anywhere, I just have to act this primarily first. So you got. Pretty much caught on two robbery charges. Mm-hmm. Have you yourself ever been robbed? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. How was that? Oh, was I was that gonna like? say, talk about that or not? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. let's go. Yes. Hey, I like this. Let's go. The, the first time or the second time, I've been robbed twice. <laughs> what's the first? What's the most interesting one? The second one. Okay. Yeah, start with that one. The second one. Um. Yeah, all right, so this is when I was in California, right? And and uh I'm gonna put it out there. It was a site <laughs> called BudTrader.com. dot you know <laughs> This is from the old oh, listen, let me tell you something. If you wasn't no old school dealer, you don't know about this. It's like this. Craigslist for sell what we sell it. Listen, yes. <laughs> if you're not for real, if you not know, if you wasn't getting money back in the days, you, you don't, don't know about, know about, about this. Yeah. Tommy, we all we old enough to say shit like this. <laughs> Listen, that's so crazy. But niggas don't know about BudTrader.com. That's Lord, like selling pussy Jesus. on back page. <laughs> Listen, nah, it's different. It's different. It's different. It's like, it's like, listen. BudTrader.com is like, you see niggas say, man, I got three pounds. I got 45 pounds for sale. This is a third. Come hit me up. Here's my number. <laughs> oh. Were you the one that had the pounds for sale or the one buying the pounds? This time, I was the one selling the pounds. And it was the fun. I was mad as shit, right? But it was, I right, bet. This one, I was staying in North. Yeah, this is I was staying in North Hollywood. Right, I stayed in North Hollywood. Don't get me wrong, I had a dope ass spot in North Hollywood. This was 2014, right? I had a dope ass spot in North Hollywood, like dead serious, right? But anyways, I put I post on Bud Trader. I was like, man, I be looking for weed on Bud Trader. Let me see. I got some weed that I can't sell. I you feel me. I was like, somebody else was supposed to get this weed. I was supposed to, you know, you know, football toss that shit to him, and he ain't want it no more. So I'm like, damn, I got four pounds. Let me see if I could resell it back on the site, right? That's normal shit. Bought off the site, resell it on the site. So I said, I put a post, somebody hit me up. He like, yeah, yeah, let me come check it out. He was like, man, my people's on a little Chinese spot. I said, yeah. I said, okay, that's money. Chinese <laughs> on a little sushi, little su- 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 suki, suki spot, you know? You know, little, you know, little sake. Yeah. You see, I'm like, all right, bet. So I go to this little little Asian spot, you know, you know, drive over there at the four pounds. He's like, yeah, come in. So I come in, we sit at a table, order me a sake. The man shaking thing. his head, this shit gotta be I'm crazy. like, it's good. <laughs> I'm like, this his people's spot. You he's drinking sake? You drinking sake? Yeah, I don't, that's the first time I ever had it at the time, right? But we chopping it up. So he looking at the weed, he like, yeah, this cool. I'm finna bring it to my uncle in the back. I said, all right, back super. <laughs> Did he ever come back? Listen, as soon as I said that, right, he got up to the bag and went to the back. I just go, my chest just felt warm. Like, <laughs> the sake hit. The sake hit, so I just get up. The bathroom is like past that little, you know, when you walk yeah. to the kitchen, the back door, you know, yeah, you walk that through it and open. boosh, boosh, right? Yeah. So I like, I'm a fake, like I'm going to the bathroom, to, you know, to look what he doing back there. So I walk to the bathroom, I look back. He done walk through the back door. I see the back door swinging like, you know how you could just look through yeah. and see the back door? Open. Then I bust through the 
kitchen. Look, I bust through the kitchen. I whip out in the Chinese restaurant. I bust through the kitchen. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm running through the kitchen. Hey! They're like, hey, 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 now fuck all that shit. Push the nigga out the way. The nigga try to take my weed. Like, <laughs> bro, he had this, he had this like Need for Speed type car. I don't even remember. Say so a Need for Speed type it car. Was like, it's not his first rodeo. It was like a it was like some infinity type. I don't know what type of car it was, but it was fast as fuck, right? <laughs> he ended up getting his car, I bust through the door, jump down the steps, I'm running down, man. I'm, bro, I'm trying to shoot at the car, bro, they like, I don't give a fuck, I'm trying to figure this That's all out. Pounds. Bro, I'm hot right now, right? <laughs> Come on, man, I'm not thinking, you know when you- You could have just sent that back to Connecticut. Bro, you're not thinking, you're not thinking clearly. <laughs> yeah. You're never thinking clearly, you're just in emotion. Yeah. Well, I, well, I get to shoot, but I shoot, I try to shoot, shoot at the, the tire. car, shoot the tire, he stepped on the gas, but- the tire spinning like this, so I'm like, I'm Bro. trying to catch him, and the tire's still spinning, so he not moving, but it's slowly picking up. Roadrunner shit. And then he just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, nigga, I try to get in my car, I try to chase him, like, oh, hell no. I chase him, take a right, left, nigga, I smack the car in front of me, boom. Ah. <laughs> Yo, so Cali life is just like a movie yeah, every day. Yeah, that shit made me hot. That was the second time I was robbed. It was I was so mad because I really needed that money. At that time. <laughs> I'm trying to think about it, right? I I really needed that but money you know at that time. Up. I don't know what, but I, I remember that money being very needed at that time. <laughs> I don't know what it was needed for, but I know I, I needed it. But I know for me to be like I'm gonna sell to a stranger, I must. Have I had yeah, needed. you was down and out. This money right yeah. now. Keep it the whole ticket. I had to get what a nigga money. talk about. I must have had needed some money to pay for something. So yeah. clearly I ain't got the money or the weed. <laughs> now, now you just down and out. Now you ain't got nothing. You feel me? You feel me? Like, Damn, that's terrible. But I went back on that website. <laughs> Let's have another conversation. <laughs> When in Rome, do what the Romans do. You hear me? <laughs> you gotta figure it out, right? <laughs> when you in Rome, do what the Romans do. Oh my God. <laughs> you gotta figure it out. That's do what the Romans hilarious. do. Like, for real. Nigga, that's fucking hilarious, yeah. yo. Yo, all right. So, let's turn this up. Let's, yeah. let's, turn, let's, turn let's turn the conversation a little bit. Yeah. So, honestly, hearing you talk, I hear where whips and chains come from. Oh, yeah. I hear you. Hey, I appreciate that. I hear, where, I hear where it comes <laughs> from. On my soul, I appreciate that. I hear where it comes from because. Thank you. On that song, like, I hear the freedom. I hear I hear you talking about being trapped. And I don't, and it's not in the way of, like, a traditional somebody that's been to jail, like, they would talk about it, like, yeah. jail trap me and this yeah. and that. It was more of a mental trapness. Yeah. And you specifically said, Come home and do the same thing. Like come back and be on the block. Like, right back to the block. You know what I mean. Right that's back the, to the that's block. The, that's the whole. That's the full circle of it all. And you coming out and not having no bread the first time. You like you like, damn, I'm I ain't trying to be like that again. Hey, I ain't gonna hold you the first time. Cause remember I told you I got out on probation. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, got out, I lost everything at that time. At that time when I got locked out, it was like 22 or 2015. At that time, I can't lie. I had, I had a Beamer truck. Uh, it was up. I was up, like, motherfucker. I'm living yeah. in North. I'm 22 years. I'm living in North Hollywood. Fuck, I got a Beamer truck. I got a uh, the uh, the the Altima, the little Maxima. I had to keep me a little hood car. Mm -hmm. 2000 little Maxima, 2003 Beamer truck with the backwards camera, all that shit. Like you feel me? Living. I was cooling. I lost all of that shit. Nigga, I got out and got the I got the booking shit. I ain't gonna lie to no nigga, cause I, cause I had to get yeah. I get had back. to, you know. But at the same time, I know that I had. It was more like I had more of a conscious. So I was like, I have a number in my head. I have just enough to, I'm going to do something kind of fucked up, just to have enough to get my home and back to school and working. Mm. Without asking Your nobody. mentality so, completely changed. Yeah, without <clears> having <throat> no shit. That was at that time, right? You know, the next time I got out, I was like, I'm never coming out, bro. Because mm. <laughs> right? mm. like, I'm not going back to the same situation I had to get to to get back into space anyway. But um, I can honestly say, you know, I heard earlier you said uh, 
coming out of that situation and not having anger, that's yeah. a lie. You had anger events? Hell yeah. But I'm, I'm talking about in the moment of now. I'm, mm. I think having... I've been through a gang shit. I got out in 2021, March. March. I, I've been through it. I've, I've been... I've been through a gang of shit since I got out. Oh, gang of shit. What, exa- what are a few examples of the things you went through? Um, To be real, it's certain stuff I won't feel too Yeah, and I'm saying the things that you can speak on. The things you can speak on. But there's on. stuff I'd say um, I had to deal with people not being the same as I left them. Mm. And people were still so shocked that I was the same. Mm. A lot of people that I've known say, damn, T, you still the same. You still keep a smile and you still happy. Like, And all I kept thinking was, what you expect me to be? You expect me to be mad? You ain't put me in prison. Why the fuck would I be mad at you? Like, But that's how people viewed me. Like, They viewed me like as if I had an anger problem when I was just so happy to see people. You're just happy to be free. Yeah, and and the thing about it was just like, I used to always think about what can I do for people. That was mm. like, it was weird to say, right? That was my biggest thing. I, what can I do for people, <laughs> right? So my biggest thing I had to realize, literally, like I said, was that, and people were meaner. When I came out in March, people were, People were very disrespectful, but quietly. They weren't mm. loving anymore, and they didn't mm. even realize it. I could realize it because I still remember people from five years ago at that time. That's all you had to remember. That's all I had, I had to, to remember. remember. People mm. were still, 2015, 2016, people were having a good time in life, and people were still loving each other. Yeah, that was a great time to be alive. People were still loving each other. Right before all that money hit, people mm-hmm. were still loving each other. We no, you're like right. Really loving each 2016, 2017 was, was a family. great time to be alive. We were still family. We weren't. We was having community events. Music was blowing. Yes. People were becoming. Art was a bright. lively was ass lovely. shit. Yes. Especially in It was California, a renaissance. It was, it was a, a renaissance. It was a fucking renaissance. Especially it was. Especially in California, you got to understand. Yes. Like, the eccentric crowd, the black crowd, everything was loving. People weren't so... I'm out for me and only We're more me. together, more yeah. unity. It was more reflective back then. Then, like you said, COVID hit, all COVID of that hit, shit changed. Everyone became selfish mm. and out for me. <clears throat> and how, how can I fuck you over for me? Right. So now it, 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 I realized that you had to start trusting the people you chill with. You had to start trusting the people. Mm-hmm. Like, like, it made no sense to me. Like, why should I risk my freedom next to someone that may kill me? Facts. Just to make their situation a little bit more. Why convenient. should I? Hey, why should I chill with someone that will kill me or that will fuck me over for the benefit of their family? Why am I not family? But the thing is, most people fuck you over. It's not for long term. It's just for the now. But you know what I'm saying? But I get where you come from. Like, yeah. why don't you see me yeah. enough as family to not fuck me over just family. as much? Yeah, exactly. You would fuck me over to help your family. Why am I not looked at Facts. as family? Why am I the food? Why am I the food? I didn't, I couldn't, under, and people were like that so much. So the people, I'm like, yeah, let's get this money together. They're like, yeah, all right. I seen somebody well, made a but <clears throat> behind scenes, they don't like me. Uh, like, I seen a lot, somebody made a comment saying, it. there's a lot, Gilead thing. He's like, there's a lot of people that talk about let's get money together, but you can't count how much money oh, you right. actually got with them. I'm going to be real. Like, I had to really realize that black people, has been the downfall of all my success. And that was the hardest thing to put to to my brain because when I was locked up, it was nothing but unity towards the blacks. We all loved each other. And when I mean loved each other, we all would literally fight for each other. Like, I'm talking about like, if it went up with the Mexicans, I don't even know you. Mm-hmm. But if you fought with a Mexican, yeah. I'm looking for the next You got Mexican a problem, we all I got a problem. To. I have to. So we had unity in there. No matter no matter how much we beef and fought each other, if we somebody else trying like, to call you out, I'm gonna hey, help you. On. That's a that's a, that's the that's the Mexicans or that's the that's the woods or or whatever. Then it gets serious. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I went from seeing that to like here to like nigga, the only person gonna kill me is my brother. 
that's the hardest thing to really realize. Like, bro, I had to share soups with another black man, and another black man is going to be the demise of me. Mm-hmm. That is the craziest thing to realize, and I had to put that to terms, and that hurt. Isn't that like yeah. what you was talking about earlier when you talk about how a lot of people stay away from their hometowns because their hometowns is going to be like the demise of you? Yeah. It's the same shit. They it's the, always the people who's closest to you that yeah. will always do the most of you. You know why? I don't know why, but... <laughs> I don't know why the people closest to you should feel like a sense of, all right, look, Atlanta doesn't go through that. They help each other. Over a sense of way. They help each other. Not as much as Connecticut. Yeah. And I'll be real. That's why like places like Atlanta or even Los Angeles could really boost artists because once they hear their homie music, it's as almost if they dropped it. Facts. Mm -hmm. They bumping it everywhere. You pull up at the light, pull up at them at the light, they playing their homie music. That's the culture we need to have here. That's it. They don't give a fuck. What you talking? That's why music from the East Coast don't really bubble over there like that. They don't give a fuck what you talking about. You not they homie, and you're not saying what they're saying anyway. So they don't give a fuck about that. Not shit. even that. They never gonna see you. They not you not Facts. they homie. You're right. They, they only play their homies. They never gonna see you. They not finna see you in passing. You not finna be on but the block. But that's why they never heard they of never us heard, when we go gonna, there. Exactly. Out here it's like we love everybody a nigga else that's from, not from here. We sure we do. can't wait. To see a nigga that's not from here to just be like, oh. Shit, we gave Meek, <laughs> wait, we gave Meek a key to the state. We gave 50 Cent a day or something? Yeah. That's insane. Who the fuck is 50 Cent? I'm being real. What, he bought a house out here? <laughs> the nigga. Like, what are the contribution he made specifically to Connecticut to make it into a better went, place? He's a black man from Connecticut who ain't never been on. EBT, you ain't never. I'm not saying everyone had to be on. Yeah, but you ain't never had a. You never walked Blue show. Hills. You never you been on. You never been, been on Park on Street. South End. Yeah, you ain't never. You ain't never been to New Haven. Facts. You, you ain't never been nowhere. You Nothing. ain't ne- Don't nobody know Pookie Poo, whatever they called you from back in the days. Don't nobody know you, and you got a day in connect. Yeah, it's crazy. But that's the same thing I'm saying about Meek too. Like you, he got a day out here. He got a key. He, he got, got a key, key to, to the state. To what state? To Connecticut. I don't believe you. You serious? Yes. Yeah. What when did this happen? Wait, I think he has a day here too. When did this happen? I think uh, like um like like a little bit during the COVID eras, like 22, yeah. 21, 22. Hey yo, you know what they should Give do? It to my you know what they should do? I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna listen, you know what? I'm gonna say this. Hey, look, if they gonna give me <laughs> If they gonna give Meek Mills a day in Connecticut, give Saucy Santana a day in his bitch too. Facts. Fact, even though he don't claim being from Bridgeport. Say what a nigga want to say. Get that nigga a day. I'll be pissed as a motherfucker. But I'll respect it. It would make it. more sense. It would make more sense <laughs> than a fucking Meek Mill. I'm being real. It would at least be like, all right, well, yeah, whatever. At least I what know. At least I know. I, they would know him by his real name. No, at least the nigga, he from Bridgeport. All right. Like, all right. I don't, I don't fuck with this nigga, but I don't, right. I don't get where he coming from, but, but right. at least they represent He's from Connecticut. Right. Run it. Whatever. Facts. <laughs> but Facts. Meek Mills? But that's said, why I like, um, that's, that's so, why I like, that's um. so much disrespect, it ain't even funny. That's why I like that, um. Like, that's disrespect. Get, get, that, nigga, get that nigga saucy a day. No, that's why I like that big, like Fuego base. Fuego base tagline is um biggest since can be. I love that. Like that's that's CT. If you from CT, you know, you know, can be was that shit at the time when he went to the NBA. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was one of the biggest names to come from CT at that time. Like, but the reason I love it is because he says it everywhere he go when he's look, outside of CT. I'm gonna be real, like, like for real, like. Who the fuck is Camby? Marcus Camby? I'm being real, but let's keep it a whole ticket. I don't like, 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 biggest since Camby. That's like a reach. I don't give a fuck with nobody talking about who the fuck is Camby. I haven't heard of that name in over 20, 30 something fucking years. If anything, I would have said biggest since Smooth Haynes. And that would have made more sense. Because on some real shit, and I'm being real. Everyone from Hartford or Connecticut, I can say, can remember that Smooth Haynes song. Facts. But it's ironically, even when... You don't it, play no basketball and you fat as fuck. I'm being real. Why wouldn't you just say, biggest since Smooth Haynes? You do music, my nigga. You don't play no sports, my nigga. Keep it a ticket. 
So let's make it make sense. I would have said biggest and smooth hands because he had the biggest hit I've ever heard Connecticut has ever had. That you've you ever heard. Right. That you I've ever right. heard. Yeah. I'm being real. Yeah. Look like Halley. True. Look like Whoopi. Whoopi. M-O-B. You're not That's a sucker for the nookie, nookie nah. nah. You're not a sucker for that. <laughs> but <clears throat> yeah, I, uh, I, honestly, I, I would say that too. In my lifetime. Real. In my lifetime. So that I think Smooth Haynes was one of, one of the biggest. I had one of the biggest records in my lifetime. That was the biggest hits. I'm being but honest. Connecticut. I'm being honest. Like, it was to the point niggas begged him to put on Apple Music. So my whole thing is, you do music and you more the lines of that. That make more sense. Make it make sense. I'm not just finna just say a name because people think they know what they talk about. Mm. That's dick riding. Then nobody know who the fuck Candy is. It's dick riding. Dead serious. That's one thing I don't like about Connecticut because we create so much style and we give it out. And that's fucking annoying. That's highly annoying. We do that shit all the time. You said earlier that um Connecticut don't follow trends, we set trends. We set trends and then dick ride other people who catch on to it. That's like mm. that's paradoxical in a sense. It's so fucked up. I don't even get it. Like we'll create something, but we'll never take any type of credit. You know that for word it. called on fleek. Yeah, mm-hmm. we created that shit. I don't care what nobody said because I heard them little weird. My bad, excuse my language. I heard them little young niggas, um, <laughs> uh, gang skeet or some shit was saying on fleek, nigga. In two thousand, what? So when I heard the world start saying that, I'm like, these little niggas blew up. And they got no credit for that. Mm. We stay creating shit. And I just think that one thing. You know how much people didn't use on fleet? I'm being real about that shit right now. They say 860 Zoe was going to be the one that, that put Connecticut on for like the um, like, Yankee dancing. Mm-hmm. Come on. We stay. Like, you got to think about it. Like, Connecticut, like, like. Like, we don't have any basketball teams. We don't have we no don't major have sports any teams. Major shit. Sports. We, we have to go have to our surrounding states for all of that. So the fact we don't have any entertainment, when music come here, we thrive off that shit like it's no other. Yeah. They know they come here, we doing and we it run the coattails off it to make come them come on, here as man. well, too. Nigga, I've been look at, Chi- Like, yeah. honestly, keep it up. You ever been to Chicago, west side of Chicago? Like out nah, there, like I never been there. Yeah, yeah I like, never just got it. All right, I've driven. I haven't been out there, but I've driven through there, you know. And that shit looked like the North End of Hartford. Why? I'm being real about that shit. The same life, little Dirk and them live. Them niggas is living that out here, currently as we speak. Hmm. That's crazy, right? But hmm. why they get the Think about the artists and shit. They come here. We thrive off of what they do so much because it's us. Yeah. It's not them. We see because we love what we see in our. We, we love seeing ourselves and other people. Come on. That's the one mm. thing I realized about Connecticut while doing this podcast. We love seeing ourselves and other people. Look, I, yeah, I, I just said to myself, I can't stand when a nigga from Connecticut do drill music. But I'm gonna be real. I didn't hear niggas that do drill music in Connecticut that sound better than niggas from New York. Me too. And me I'm too. Gonna cap you on that. I'm not gonna lie on me too. It would sound like it's fresh from New York itself. I'm not gonna cap. It don't even sound like it's from. It, it, it sounds like from so New York, different. But... Yeah, it sounds like New York. It's lyrical. Like, listen, like, like, it's like, kind of lyrical in like, a sense. Uh, you know who my favorite artist from Connecticut who? is? That's Zay Bucks. I like Zay Bucks. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. on the real. I like That's Zay Bucks. My, I'm gonna be real, right? Because I understand what he's saying. Niggas be about that type of shit. And on top of it, it's like he's almost off beat, but on beat. But it sounds time. so different that what else can that be from but Connecticut? Mm-hmm. Like that's really the Connecticut sound. Speaking I'm of not Connecticut, joking. Speaking that's really of the Hartford sound. Not to say that's the Hartford. Speaking sound. of that, and because you're a nigga who's from Blue Hills, mm. I would say Cool Q contributes to like a Hartford sound as well too. What would you say on that intake? Let me hear I'm your perspective gonna say, on that. I'm gonna say Cool Q. I'm going to say, this is what I'm going to say about him. He has a blue hell sound. Mm. Because there's nobody else that sounds like he him. He has a blue hell sound. He has a, he sound like 
some of the old school heads I used to hear when I was like younger. Well, like he did say Monte, Monte, Monte Vega was one yeah, of his. Yeah, when he's rap, you know, walk, they used to rap in front of valleys and shit, walking there and them, you know, going in the corner, just walking. I Playing can't going remember, to AU. I can't remember this nigga name, but like it used to be this fat nigga with these big glasses on. I can't remember his nickname to save my life. But every time you see him, he walking, spitting fire. But it's that sound, like it's just like you never really heard it before. Mm. That's who Q remind me mm. of. He got a, he has a Blue Hill sound. He has a sound that is not, it's not towards what he don't have. I can't stand people who talk about shit they don't have. Facts. It pisses me off. Facts. If you talk about shit you have and shit you got going on, I can listen. And make it sound good. Make it sound good because I'm not looking at jewelry. I don't even really like jewelry. I'm not joking. I hate the attention. I hate it. I, I, I got mesmerized by it at a point in time, and then I realized that that was going to be the demise of me. Talk more into the mic. Yeah. yeah, that was. I realized that that you was. You can move the, it closer to you. Yeah, sir. yeah. I was say I was realized that that was going to be the demise of me. Is jewelry. So I don't even like jewelry. So I like the fact that every time I seen him, he didn't have jewelry. Yeah, mm-hmm. he wasn't a flashy nigga. Nah, so he just going off of straight words. Yeah, this is my life. That's and I'm gonna, make it, I'm gonna make it art. And <laughs> I'm gonna make it art. Listen, it really don't matter what he was saying. How can you not like sh- honesty? Yeah, yeah. But more important, how could you not respect it? Come on, like how could you not respect if it, it good, and like what it? Like, you do? And, and on top of it, if he rapping and he's saying names of shit that you no, are thank you relate. With. Mm-hmm. I drove down this street. You drove oh, down this. this street. Or um, you know, go get, Bay. I, I went down Booth Bay. Go get some Coventry. food from McDonald's. Yeah, or, yeah. right off the edge. Like, they got some guy from you Valley. You can really like, you can really go like this and just drive in the car with him and, and understand. And you know where he going? And I love that. I gotta be real. I gotta. I, I have to get that to home. Facts. Right, but um, I honestly say we know of each other, but don't really know each other. Um. I'm from Blue Hills, but I've been gone for 12 years. 12 years. And I come back periodically. But you've been going for like the height of what Blue Hills was at that time. Yeah. And I wouldn't even... You know what's so crazy? Because when I left in 2012, I had to be honest. I was the only person doing what I was doing. When I came to California, I was the only person doing what I was doing. I was sending packs back as soon as I landed. Mm. Like facts, like so. Like, if anybody around that age, around that time, was even getting any money, they knew who the fuck I was, and that was perfect to me, right? Like, at the time where we talking about weed, right? It's only weed at this time, right? Like, you know, <laughs> you know. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> he knows, right? <laughs> Now, okay, okay, like, like I, I got, a, I got a video out on, cause I used to go by T Wright. So even on YouTube, if you type in T Wright. Now that I passed the fourth wall, though, I am gonna go and take this chance to go to the bathroom real quick. <laughs> yeah. For editing's sake. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, this way. This way. This way. This way. Yeah. I don't know if you were being serious about going outside, but. I don't yeah, you can go. go all the way. Yeah. Inside. No, you can go. Just yeah, go to the back right here. Right. Cool. Right right right, cool. But like. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Trust me, I know this game. I know this game. Oh, he, he chips over everything all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like mic stands. You can move those. That's okay. Those can be replaced and re- repositioned. No, no, no. You don't need to replace them. Yeah. I'm going to reposition. There's your phone. Yeah. You got it? Is that good? Yeah, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, like... <laughs> Reason why I had to look back to my man's and say he knows is because man, like when we was in California, like man, we was sending this this at this time. I could talk about it now, and I feel so comfortable because it was years ago. We got to think about it. This, I'm the only nigga in the house, but it's five five of us in total, and we all sending packs out that bitch. Hmm. I got the plug though, but we all sending packs everywhere like you gotta think about it like you got five of us i'm controlling like connecticut you got the other home controlling like uh 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 he had a cold plug at um uh um uh, syracuse 
So he busted Syracuse. You feel me? He dealing with another area. You feel me? My other man, he got a person down in Florida. Oh, you shit. feel me? He, 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 um, what's the name? No, no, uh, not Florida. I'm lying. Um, What's that school uh, in New Orleans? Mm. The college over there. Yeah. Um, What's the college over there? Uh, I forgot the name. I don't know. It don't matter. But he was over there. He over there. He over there. He over there. He in New Orleans. <laughs> he doing that. Like, so you understand, like, like, at that time, it was like, the only person doing what I'm doing from this area. And I felt so much joy in that alone. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's the fucking college, the yeah. Nolan College, the basketball Nola. team. <laughs> I don't know the name of that motherfucker. <laughs> I know what you're talking about now, though. Yeah, right? No, but, so, like, leaving, I can say around that time, um, I don't think she was rapping at that time. I'm not sure. Hmm. But when I started to come back around, like, when I got out of the pen, I started coming back, like, that year, 2021, I came back like. Yeah, how long? After twice you got a out, week, how long did you? How twice long did a month. You, oh, twice like, a month? I came back twice a month for like the whole year, 2021. Like, I, had, I had parole. No, I was on parole. Yeah. So I used to be like, look, I'm on parole. Shoot out here. Okay. Right. So you, you was allowed to go out of state? No. I'm on parole. <laughs> Stop playing. I'm on parole. I'm wild. I told you, I'm like, get out. I'm gonna get it by any means. I tell myself, ain't nobody's world. I should think it ain't nobody's world for tell you where to go. I just got out. Fuck what you talking about. Y'all fucked me over anyway. Fuck the judicial system. Fuck the judicial system. I remember one time, I, I remember I was out here. Just some shit that happened. I, I got got into a little shootout out here. This was it's kind of crazy, right? Well, right. While you wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We ain't gonna be talking about, about that, but it's right. But anyway, so this this little shit happened, right? And then as this shit happened, you know, driving off and shit, my parole officer called me. I'm, I, I don't know. I just pick up. Hello? I'm thinking this, you know. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> he said, uh, right? <laughs> I said, oh. Uh, he confused. Oh, man. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Put on like, pull over. Hey, what's going on, man? I said, I'm done, but, but, was I supposed to see you? <laughs> he go, can, can you come in tomorrow? Oh shit! I'm like, uh, no, man, I can't, I can't come in tomorrow. Man. I got work tomorrow. He goes, uh, well, did I see you yesterday? I go, yeah. He go, okay. Uh, did I, did I give you a piss test yesterday too? I said, you damn sure did. He said, that's all I need to know. Holla at you, man. I said, oh no, we. <laughs> oh no, we. Did I do it yesterday? Yeah, you did. You, I don't know why you asking me these questions, but I ain't stupid. <laughs> you want to play dumb? Probably play I'm dumb, too. I'm going to play dumb, too. I'm going to play dumber. And that's because we got to be on the same page to Facts. make it make sense, right? Facts. Uh-huh. Facts. Because I know he on a recorded line. So you got to make sure you say the right things. So he know. Come on, man. He know. Like, Facts. that shit. Like, he hooked me up with that. I said, on me. Like, because I remember, I'm like, oh, my God. Brother, I'm finna, rush this it. shit happened. I'm going to go to jail. <laughs> I got like 30 pounds in the truck. I'm going to go to jail. <laughs> Nigga not even home to be arrested. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, I came back kind of like really. That's what I'm saying. Like, anger, yeah, I had it. But it was more like, I love you. But if you do me something wrong, I'm going to react. A fact. Yeah. And my reaction was always bad. So I realized reaction is, you're never supposed to react to what people do to you. Never. Never. Some, yeah, it's you not gotta, your job. Yeah, it's not your job. I had to learn that. Like the me, world, the let me repeat universe that. To take care let of me that. repeat that. If somebody do something to you, you're not supposed to retaliate. No, you're not. Let the universe handle it. If it did not kill you, move on. And if it did not put your family at risk, at risk, walk away. Facts. Walk away. That's the big thing. Just walk away. It, it's easier said walk than away. done. Bro, listen, it's the hardest thing to do. I it's had to te- easier I, said than done. I, I had to I I've I had to teach myself patience, bro, like for real, because and with patience you could do it. Honestly, I don't have patience, but I've learned from experience. Mm-hmm. I've learned from just letting things go from earlier in my life that 
you might not get the satisfaction that you want now, but you will. That's patience, bro. And I have patience when it comes to that that type of stuff. But when it comes to just regular regular patience, I don't I don't have it. Like, but I just know when I just know when certain things is really just not worth my energy. Yeah, yeah, but I see, but see, but see, but would you saying that true patience is a long haul, bro? True patience is I can wait ten years. Oh yeah, fact. For what I want to work out. Yeah. I mean, but I'm a nigga. I can wait ten years to fuck a girl. It's a nigga thing in it, so I can't yeah, but wait like, 10 yeah, years yeah, 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 You never plotted on a girl f- and just no, waited till she was free? No. Never? No. It's okay. You no. wouldn't even do 12 years in jail. I don't expect you to plot no. on a girl for 12 years. Listen, let me tell you something. I have to be honest with you. See, look, she, I got a fiance now. This is my baby. This is my baby. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm this married. the old I'm married. you. I'm married. I'm married. Don't yeah, worry. It's okay. I'm in a relationship. Is, this, is, this is my best friend. Like, I'm talking about, like, like we do it. She the one. Homie. She like, the you one. You feel me? My homie. I went through all of that shit but and I'm I got you, real. girl. If I ain't fuck her on the first day, she would not be my bitch. You fucked on the first date? Always. <laughs> <laughs> That's my main requirement. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Always. Hold on. Before yeah, I yeah. even talk to her, bro, I we know we finna fuck. I'm not finna play no games. I'm, <laughs> I'm being real with you though. Like I'm being real. Like people like, oh, she took me on a date. Hold on. She took me. Uh, I'll be like, oh, I'm out to this bitch on a date and she ain't give me no pussy. I'm like, you dumb because I know the pussy is given before the date. <laughs> Yo, I be it be. So she didn't saw the. She didn't saw the big flicks. She just saw the you feel me? Yeah, she just saw the meat. She just, she just saw the meat pics. She just saw she <laughs> we just said nasty shit Fact. on the phone. I'm finna eat phone it down. Sex, all of that. I'm finna spit all in there. I'm finna do some nasty shit to you. But baby, let's go get something to eat first. Yeah. Once uh, once we know what to go. Baby, we finna get nasty, but man, I eat too. Let's get some food first. I'm gonna eat some food before I eat you. So now we know. I'm finna fuck before this meal. <laughs> After this meal. Or between during the meal, meal, during the meal, <laughs> some fucking is gonna be going some down. Some fucking is happening. <laughs> so I don't understand when people be like, "Man, I took this, I flew this bitch out. She ain't give me no pussy." Fucked. I'm like, "No, why? Because this you ain't bitch, set the tone. no, because she already set the tone. Look, bitch, we finna fuck Facts. in the car from the airport. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't say you yes, I don't say anything about down, flying you out. Man. First of all, I'm not flying a bitch that's not busting me down at the airport. You got to be nasty. The minute you get in the car. Bro, listen. You, gotta, you shouldn't even see the way home. If the, if she's not like that, it wouldn't even make Fact, sense to me. You should never know the direction so to I'm, my house. If I'm saying, first of all, that'll never happen. Like, <laughs> see, but my, my fiance, my girl, my baby, she's like all of that plus plus the homie. Like, I can't explain it. <laughs> I get it. I can't explain I it, right? It. I swear to God, I, I cannot it. explain it, right? You can do shit that you can't do with she the homies. Like, yeah, she like my whole, my best friend, my Everything slut, wrapped in one. My, my the homemaker, girl, my the homemaker, mu- my everything. finance advisor, my manager, everything. my this, my... Your life, got your guidance yo, counselor, yeah, right? everything. Everything, when I'm stressed out, like... She hold you on the world slow down. All of that shit, right? I get it. That's why I feel so comfortable saying there, yeah, like, every woman I've ever dealt with, if we didn't fuck the first day, yeah, she'd be like, she gonna watch this and be like, T, you stupid. <laughs> like, she gonna laugh at this. Yeah, but time, time is not promised. So I'm gonna be real. If we, if our sex ain't good, ain't nothing else ain't gonna be good. You know what's funny, right? Ain't nothing else gonna be good. The reason I'm with my girl right now is because she didn't let me fuck the first night. Everybody different. Because if she let me fuck the first night, I wouldn't have took it serious. See, if she let me fuck the first night, the second night, the third night, I'm like, damn. This way but that's the one. thing. I it's like this, you know. It's not even that she might like she might be the one, but it's more like it's like she got your attention. See, now. see, see. The thing about these women, I don't even give a fuck if she a prostitute. Prostitute get a you save a hoe. For free. You save a hoe. Huh? You save a hoe. It depends on who the hoe is. <laughs> It depends on who the hoe like, is. Would you go to a strip club and be like, you don't need this? Let me tell you, <laughs> I'm going to be real with you. They, they, they're more loyal than you think. No, they, they way more loyal than you think. Probably the most loyal. Bro. I ain't going to lie. Let me tell you something. Look, on oh, some real shit, the, I ugly, ain't gonna lie. the ugliest bitch get the same attention as the, the hottest bitch. That's facts. Never get it twisted. That's facts. There's a reason why that bitch have that the much confidence. The hottest bitch got the most 
niggas in her DMs or whatever is the ugliest bitch and she put herself out there. Niggas but are also, thirsty. peep this too. That's fact. The prettiest bitch be also the dirtiest bitch as well yeah. too. But hold on. But what I'm trying to say is, right, the fact that the playing field is even for all these bitches right now, like dead serious, ugly, fat, skinny, it's black. It's the same playing field. It's all the same playing It's all the same playing field. For these bitches, bro. Real shit. Like, like it, I'm not saying it diminishes their value, but because it, no, it no, it makes it helps the real ones stand out more. Because there's women who aren't average women, and yeah. you, like yeah. no matter what room you put them in. Mm. So once you realize yeah. all of these women are same sure. playing game, For sure. once you see For somebody sure. who ain't playing that same game, yeah. nigga, stand the fuck out real quick. And you gonna do what you gotta do? Like, yo, what you want? Yeah, what you like? Yeah, exactly. Right. I need to see what you about. Why you different? See, like, all right. You see how your eyes work? Wait, your, which which two? Your eyes. Which two? Right here. Just the these. ones on the front or the ones behind? No, the just right here. Oh, these right, one here. right here. These right here. Okay. The real ones. The real <laughs> ones. I'm gonna tell you how they work. It's called. Fun. They don't really work, but you can they tell me work. how they're supposed to. I'm gonna tell to. you how they work. Right. They're only like the only reason why all this exists is because we thought of it so much that it popped in front of our eyes. But that goes back to when you said light like, don't exist. But hold on, hold on. Before we get to that, I'm gonna tell you before <laughs> I lose track of thought. Before I look, because you almost fucked me up right there. Uh, I don't know why you physics, said that to right, me, let's right? Go. But I'm saying, look, right, like, uh, right, like literally, like that's how pictures are, like. How I'm seeing you right now is that I literally thought of you till you turned to you just now pop in front of my face. You're no actually how you, fucking right. I'm serious. Like, no, you're right. That's why flying could be real. Everything can no, you're be right. real. Because as long as you pick, you can believe it and manifest it. Yes, it can it's be real. Going, so if you see a bullshit bitch that keep coming in front of you, you bullshit. You're bullshit yourself. And you're, you're, she's a reflection of what you bring to the world. All right, so what about world? schizophrenia? What? What about schizophrenia? <laughs> They just see a gang of shit at one time. <laughs> <laughs> they see five pictures at one time. They don't know what room to jump in. <laughs> I don't know why it made so much sense. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the same concept. We all, everything oh. from these eyes, bro, look. I re- <laughs> yo, look. Well, look, look. Once I realized that, you know what I start doing? I start immediately. I when I start realizing that, like I've I've seen how worse I seen, I seen how fucked up I could be. A lot of a lot of people. Because you said yeah. that's multiple personality disorder. Mm. It's completely different. But it's the same. No, but it makes sense. But it's the same. It makes sense though. Yeah, because they be. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. They do. Men, it's I, different types of schizophrenia. Have intersectionality. Yeah, but by the end of the day, they're seeing. You got to think about it. Finn jump for different conversations, for different conversations, and and have different outbreaks, and 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 and, and just, just jump from and, picture to picture, and jump out and say something that's not really. And just and just twitch out, you know, for real. You got to think about it. They're seeing a lot that, of pictures that, that, at that, one time. That, yeah, so. yeah, for real, right? It's seeing a lot what? of pictures at one time, right? So everything is 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 in our brains, man. Like so, once I start, I start saying that more. I go because I've seen how dark I can get, and I didn't like that because I started seeing people that were worse than me. Mm-hmm. I started seeing people on my playing field and worse than me. Mm-hmm. And I didn't want to deal with that no more. So the mm-hmm. most I said, let me start thinking different. Let me start saying different things. Facts. Man, I want to do things for the kids. I want to I want to help out my mama. How can I be a better me for my mom? I'm saying that at the age of 32. How can I be a better me for my mom? How can I make my mom say, that's my son? Facts. How can I make my father say, damn, that's my boy? Your priority change. Yeah, right? So I started thinking more like that. And now ways are starting to happen to where they could be like, damn, that's my son. Facts. <laughs> like, you're doing the work. Yeah, right? You're doing the work but of what was, you want. It was all... A mindset thing. A mindset that projected through my eyes. But to, to, like, to piggyback off that, right? Like, <clears throat> I have a thing where if I see myself in somebody and I don't like it, I have to change it. That's my thing with how I grew
can just can be overnight. You can change tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm period. You can wake up and be like, you know what? Yo, I had an epiphany. Fuck that. I can't be like that. The start of new day could be tomorrow. Right. It lasts a long time, right? right? So tomorrow could be the starting of something amazing for you that you never knew. That's facts. That's real facts. Somebody else may think you something else, but you different that day from on. <clears throat> from on. Because what they say, the person you met me from today is not going to be the same person you meet tomorrow. Yeah, this episode. It can't be. Unless it, you're fucking doing the right, unless you're not doing unless the right shit. Unless you're doing the same thing. That's it. The only, so honestly, to keep it a buck, most people is doing the same thing. The only thing different about them is their outfit. You know what? Their intentions. What? what um, so Everyone is doing so the same to, thing, but their intentions. Mm, so don't to, change at all. Their intentions are different. Everyone's intentions are Oh, you're different. right. Everybody's doing the same thing, but with different intentions. Different intentions. Mm-hmm. You're right. That's a good point of looking at it, because we are all doing the same thing. Some things. people- All have the same goal. Exactly. All have the same goal of being successful, but our intentions are different. That's why our drives and where we and go And the different. results. And that's why the yeah. results show yeah. different as it's well, It's different. Too. But it's... honestly, that's why I feel like nobody can be compared to us, because the way I see the universe and how things is aligned in for me, ain't nobody can mimic- or recreate that in any way, shape, or form because they can't walk my path. They cannot. Everything is in alignment for me and how I want it and how I'm acting. And for that's it. the only way. That's the only way. You are your God of your destiny. You are your. I'm the maker of me. You and are what the. I want de- you are the devil of your destination. Yes. You are the God of your destination. <clears throat> yes. That's the only thing. Once I realized that, I stopped believing in church. Mm-hmm. I stopped believing in all religion and all total. Once I realized that everything that I'm seeking for everything is already inside is of in me. me. I don't have to look for nothing out. I actually had a um I had an Israelite follower told me that. They told me that they was like, you are pretty much a walking reflection of what people are seeking outside of themselves. It's mm-hmm. so like a lot of truths that you speak, a lot of people are searching for that outside of themselves. Facts. So Facts. he basically made me change the mentality to that the Bible isn't a book. Just not the Bible itself and what we know as mankind. There's a Bible for life as well too. There's a way that to live life to get the results that you want. It's alchemy. In a sense. That's our real religion, alchemy as black people. That's manifestation, but that's manifestation. The Bible, what do you mean the Bible? No, but but to go back, the Israelites do follow the Bible, but just in a different way from Christianity. So just let's just put that into the conversation as well, too. You, you know but he the, was basically telling me everything that a lot of the Israelites are seeking outside of themselves, I already had it inside of me. Yeah. So that's when I started moving. That's part of one of the reasons I started moving different. And I was like... You How can I, I get the greatest things if I'm looking for it outside of me? You can't look for... All right. You can't, can't look for nothing external. Listen, not external. you know what's so crazy? I'm going to get back to the Bible, but I'm going to elaborate on what you're talking about. You're not going to accept nothing you don't agree to. At all. If it's not for me, why would I want it? So if you don't agree to something, that means you didn't know it. It's not real. Hear what I'm trying to say right now. No, I get you. Only for you to agree to something, that means you already knew it. You just didn't know no, you knew it. It wasn't conceptualized no, It's more yet. like you go, you ever say, damn, that makes sense. That means it's already been in your brain. But you never put it together in you that form. You put it together in that form, so now it makes sense. But it's always been within you. The information you hear has always been within you. Yes. Whatever you don't subscribe to, you're not going to subscribe It's called our subconscious, to. though. A lot yeah, of things are yeah. built into our subconscious, <laughs> but it doesn't come into our consciousness until it needs to. Until it needs to play its part. Exactly. You know? Um, but hold on. But wait. Back to that Bible situation. I just want to say this. The Bible is nothing but the largest book club in the world. I feel like the Bible is just... <laughs> about, it, no, it is. And also, it's, an, it's a story. Just want right. to put that out Let there. me ask you this, right? It's There's the largest lot, book let club. Let me ask you this. Let me hear your perspective on this. There's a lot of people that says the Bible... Largest book club in the world. The, there's a lot of people that says the Bible is is stories of true events. Look, um, this is what the Bible is. This is why I don't fuck with the Bible. I'm being real. <laughs> this is why I don't fuck with the Bible. Because I read the Bible from page. From, I read the whole entire In jail? Bible. Of course. They had the time. What else I'm going to do? You had the time. Bro, what else I'm going to do? Might as well read. And what I learned is, first of all, it's not in order, for one. Um, 
none of the honestly the bible is kind of backwards in a way and it starts in the middle it's the weirdest story you could think of right but by the end of the day with the bible to me is as if jay-z nas kanye Lil Wayne. Like your greatest storytellers. Greatest storyteller. Came of together. All times today came together. And just write a really great book. And just wrote a book of how they perceived the world, world. was. And how you're supposed to act. Nigga, Jay Z life ain't mine, my nigga. So that ain't right. Facts. Diddy eyes for sure ain't mine. <laughs> <laughs> Right? The nigga eyes for sure ain't these. Oh, so, all right. Boom, boom, boom. I got a question. My fault. I got a question. I got a question. Because this question was brought to me today. All right? You get invited to a Diddy party, right? Mind this is all day party. Are you going? Yeah, I'm going to record everything and exploit everybody. You got to sign NDAs and you can't bring him Yeah, you got to. Yeah, exactly. See, I ain't say all that. No, but that's that's. I'm pretty no, sure that's a part of no, the deal. No, no, I would go there with a camera though. And, and you can't. Get I'm, I'm gonna go with a button camera. <laughs> button camera. <laughs> I go to jail. Nah, to I'm not somebody. even gonna hold you. I'm not going to Diddy party with no button nothing. <laughs> I'm just not. Let going. me unbutton that camera. I'm unbutton that. I, shirt I said that you. as a joke to be funny, but all jokes aside, um, I think that is just all fucked up. In terms of. Just one hundred percent on 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 a lot of ways. I'm gonna say it's fucked up because um, if people are actually gay, let them be gay. <laughs> on some real shit. The fuck we care for? I'm being no, dead but, serious about that. You know, that you know shit. what's a no, no. It's a problem when I'm not fucking Diddy. It's not even a that. I'm not about to go fuck <laughs> me. It's, it's not even that. Why the fuck I care? It's not even that. It's because when we're people, niggas make me, dope music. They make dope music. No, Why I the get, fuck I care. I get that. It's, like <laughs> it, it's none of my business. I get that, and, I and it should be none of nobody's I business. I completely get that. Because and I agree if with you're you. not involved with somebody in that times in that realms, technically, I it's get none that. Of your fucking business. I get that, and I and I agree with you. But remember, it's why I don't but like these are the people on, are man. who are gatekeeping a lot of these media entrepreneurs' careers. See, but the thing about it is, okay, right, I'm gonna so, say about that. I'm gonna right. say, I'm gonna say about that, right? Now, the fact that Diddy had that much power, and he still do, and and, and and my thing is in using that. That I'm not buying that. I'm gonna tell you why I'm not buying. So you don't that. believe? Why? You don't believe Diddy's touching butts? No, let me tell you something. I'm not saying he's not touching butts. He's touching butts. <laughs> Diddy touching butts. Yeah, let's, I believe he's definitely let's, touching. Let's him. not play with yeah. that. Diddy yeah, is fucked medicine. up. Diddy touching butts. Yeah, right? he did some shit. He probably did oh everything y'all said. Diddy touching butts. No cap. But they wanted they butts touched. They agreed to it. Yo. Because that's on my soul. Diddy would have been <laughs> dead already. Facts. It was consensual. Diddy would have been dead already. I'm being dead serious. Because these with niggas you. wanted the bag. Look, I'm being dead serious. Diddy would have been dead already. If a... <laughs> not, I don't even scream that, but you get where I'm coming from. Diddy would have been dead if already. It was a real you don't street need. Nigga. You don't own some real shit. If you, it was a real street nigga. No, you but... got it. It don't even gotta be no real street nigga. It gotta be anybody. Uh, just a real nigga in cell. Right? Bro, it gotta be real anybody. Just man, somebody that's real man. with the cell. You see where I'm coming from? Real shit. Being like, real. Nigga, you trying to touch so, my butt, nigga? Therefore, fuck you, me, nigga. Whoever he assaulted is fucked up because they wanted. Is it a soul? Is it a soul? If you act, if you is it consensual? They wanted it though. I'm not buying that. Diddy ain't rape nobody, but he touching butts. He ain't rape nobody. Get that out their minds. He ain't take nothing from nobody. But by the end of the day, and he did take something from somebody. That butt. But my thing is, they gave it. He didn't take it. You have yeah, to give it to take it either way. I'm not even gonna. We're not gonna get into it too much because it sounds fucked up. Even, listen, but hear what I'm trying to tell you right now. Even when it's consensual, you can still take it. Let me tell you. Hear what I'm trying to tell you. I'm being dead. I'm, no, I'm being dead serious right now. Right now. Right. I'm being dead serious right now. Right. Look, I'm being dead serious right now. If if Diddy would have tried that with a real nigga, he'd have been dead already. This conversation is think about what I'm saying right now. No, you right. You think what I'm saying? If you did it with enough niggas, if you, nah, if you eventually did it with, listen, somebody listen, would have been like, you nah, know what? Nigga. You know, you know who he didn't play with? Ooh. Fifty, because Fifty would have killed that boy. Let's keep it a ticket. Fifty would have killed that boy. Fifty, Fifty made joke and laugh and make jokes, but they already know Fifty probably the most only gangster in the industry. I'm being dead serious about that. If you really think about it. And he been on the same wave since she got in the game. I never forget when when him and Game was going at it. Game made me felt that Fifty wasn't a gangster. 
you game really destroyed 50 back in the days, in my opinion. Like with the snitch allegations and all of that shit. But to hear game in an interview like with, with on Drink Champs, and he say, nah, 50 a real gangster. It's just that I didn't like what he was doing. I said, oh my God. If a 50 nigga, been, he didn't 50 like been a real nigga the whole time. This one and nigga ain't like how he went fold. about shit. And one nigga ain't like how he go about shit. But guess what he did? He bought game. Remember when game was doing that? Just mm-hmm. you not? Fifty bought that shit. So you can't say it. That's some gangster shit. Mm-hmm. That is some gangster Bar shit. Nothing. Power. <clears throat> Power. Right? Diddy couldn't play with Fifty. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So he may tell jokes about that shit. Like nigga, nigga, you can't buy no dress for me. But by the end of the day, look at it on a larger perspective, nigga. If you would have tried shit, I would have killed your dumb ass. Facts. Straight up. So he know not to play with. So whoever you see Diddy playing with, they subscribe. So it's fucked up to see that they're not subscribing anymore because it's popular. Facts. Mm. <clears throat> Facts. It's not the thing no more. At so this it's time, popular to say me too. And that's so fucked up to me. Because you're just hopping on the bandwagon now. On some real shit, what you're doing is you're really overshadowing people who really get fucked over in situations. You're shadowing people who really get raped. You're shadowing people who really go through problems with this bullshit Diddy shit. Because mm. we cared about Diddy. There's real get, victims. We care about Diddy raping people and they just probably molested like 40 little girls. Nigga, Facts, there's real victims out there. And that's insane to me, my nigga. That's way insane to me than fucking Diddy touching somebody. But you see the mask? Facts. You see what I'm saying? Facts. So my, my, I always say... Fuck a Diddy, fuck what they going through, to be honest, because they all like that shit. So and it's going to happen either way. I don't way. care who let the bag out, because they like that shit. Meek been gay. Look at him. He been, he been that way. But he still <laughs> make dope music, and it ain't none of my business. Is He's not I'm rapping about getting, his, getting any of and that shit. None yeah. of my, but, it's, but what I'm trying to tell you, it's none of my business. <laughs> By the end of the day, they made it my business by killing my line. <laughs> like <laughs> but, I was trying to mind my business. But but yeah, but it's none of my you no know, on some real shit. He been like that. He ain't just he thirty two years old and nigga ain't just turn gay. You ain't start just start doing. You ain't shit. just start doing. And to be honest, do I believe all the allegations? Yes, I do too. Yes, I believe it's all true. Yes, because one thing about the shit you do in the dark, it comes to the light. Because the dark don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Like. Full circle, my nigga. The dark don't exist, nigga. <laughs> Telling you for real, it's all the shade. The dark don't exist. Facts. It don't exist. It all come to light. That's facts. Any closing words from uh, anybody? This this episode was this shit was dope. Great. This is amazing. <laughs> this shit was. Fucking this was great. actually fucking. This amazing. is dope. Awesome, real shit. Yeah, you think about Sometimes. it. I, they, they, yeah, we, yeah, we got to close because, yeah, we go for two, three hours. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Let me just end that. Playing. I think we're we two hours in. Two hours in. You we're pretty much two hours in. We're pretty much you two hours in. On the recorder right now, it says two hours. You, Kevin. <laughs> it's maybe like an hour 45 or something you like that. I mean, dead ass, nigga. I love, yeah, I love what y'all got going Appreciate on. That. A million over. Appreciate I that. appreciate you. Yeah, now yeah, you know. I'm sorry to cut you guys off halfway through. Uh, no, nah, you good. There was a great chemistry going. On. Yeah, you yeah, good. We was vibing. It was vibing. Nah, we was vibing. Hold on, we gotta close out. Hold on, we gotta close out. We gotta close yeah, out. we gotta do some closing. Yeah, do some closing. Yeah. Yo, can I can I say something? Yo, yeah, this the best podcast and the I I and the third. Um, look, uh, this is black excellence at the fullest. Now this was a dope ass conversation. And you know what? I'm a I'm a scratch that word black excellence. This is this human is excellence. excellence. Mm. I gotta change we my don't own have mindset. To differentiate it excellence to black. I gotta change my word set because I don't even like subscribing to the word black because that means nothing. And I'm Facts. Black is just lack of light. It's void. It's nothing. It's, it's actually nothing. Because technically, legally speaking, black means that they can treat you any fucking way. Because you're nothing. It's <laughs> exactly. literally it's nothing, right? <laughs> so by the end of the day, I'm something. We're all something. So right. what I'm saying is this is human excellence. I love what these guys are doing, and I just want to somehow be a part. You're already part? Like, we just right talked for two hours. Bro, I've been <laughs> drinking Jack Daniels. We've nigga. been mixing this whole time, nigga. This is part of what we're doing. Damn. You are literally part of the journey, bro. 
Hey, I appreciate it. You're cemented man. part of the journey now, Listen, nigga. Man, I, I appreciate y'all, this man. Was a th- this was, nah, nigga. You, yeah. You had a great story. Yeah. And you told your story for well. Sure, on for some sure. real shit. For sure. And it's, this is like, again, this is like, it goes back to what Quell says, like to say, this is why we do this shit. Yeah. This is why we do this shit because not a lot of people have personality. Yeah. Not a lot of people can actually be in front of a camera and on a, on a mic and actually be themselves yeah. unapologetically. For sure. Because think about sure. a lot of these young artists don't have no personality outside they of don't. their music. They when don't. you see them perform, they're just standing there. You doing know a little rock. You know what? I'm a, I'm a, before we get off, I'm going to say this. I don't want to believe that's true. I, I just we believe, see it. I just believe yeah. that. Certain artists, if they're not saying the right things, they can be projected in the wrong way. No, I'm talking about how they perform. And oh, they how trash. They, a lot yes, of these, yeah, their they, performance are horrible. Oh, no, nah, they, they, no, nah, that's drugs. That's drugs. Yo, drugs. they be so high. <laughs> no, you're right. They be so high, niggas, niggas be zoned out. They don't even remember the consistent words to their own that's songs. Facts, though. You know who the highest They're tapping in heavier and there. You know the highest rapper to me is that nigga that do, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, he's from Atlanta. Oh, five, six, seven. Huncho? Eight, uh, nah, um, he got the song with... Uh, Nardo? He don't actually smoke or drink. He don't? No. Well, he's <laughs> just slowing life, because that nigga sound like a lean cup. <laughs> he sound like a lean That's cup. That's crazy. Like he if really a lean cup smoke. could talk, I would give it Nardo really with don't, He don't even smoke or drink. Like, listen, if I had a lean cup and it had like a <laughs> character voice... It would be him. It would be Nardo Wick, because he just... <laughs> well, he hard, though. But he just... <laughs> But he just he just sounds so high. So, high. That's probably why he, he just, don't smoke a drink. He don't smoke a drink. Nah. He'd be dead if he did, because he's already high. That's life has life do. has stressed that guy out. <laughs> right? Because he got some grays on his he chest. He is not happy with millions. <laughs> Nothing can surprise. Nothing his makes man. him happy. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing he has millions and just like I got gonna I got a nigga down. Nigga, you got millions, bro. I go to Chill. jail and lose it all. I go to jail and lose it all. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, dun, gun, gun. Nigga, you got millions, then bro. Then I'm going to go but to jail I and I believe make a that he will lose it all and be in prison. Just fuck it. <laughs> Yo, I, I feel like a lot of these rappers would. Hey, I don't give a fuck. I feel like a lot of rappers would lose it all to make it seem like they have it all. They do. I'm being dead ass. They throw everything away no every day. Cap. I'm going to be real because shit, I done lost a dog trying to prepare like I had So it you all. know what it looks like? For sure. And I didn't start gaining shit until I realized I had nothing. It's the only way you can gain. Even when you yeah. have something. You have to realize you got nothing. Feel like you have nothing. Because yeah. you can't. You always have to feel like you're coming from zero. If you have nothing. Everything's a gain. Everything's a gain. And then so you feel the sense of accomplishment. when you have something. I feel like I you have, have nothing. nothing. <laughs> start every day with the bank account on zero. Man, I feel like I had it all. You and just start doing this. <laughs> diminishing. Diminishing. It's a mindset thing. No, nah, I respect that. Yeah. I but we going to cut that. out, man. Look, man, I love y'all, man. Y'all good. Thank Do y'all you. thing. This is great, man. For sure. So my last outtake is... Hold on. Sorry. Oh, no, no. Before fun. you do that, my last outtake okay. is... One thing that helped me move on from my angry moments is... Instead of finding the reasons of why it went wrong because of other people, figure out what you could have done to prevent that thing and just blame yourself, accept it, and move on. Mm-hmm. That's my outtake to everything. I, instead yes. of me being vexed about why something went wrong because of other people, I figure out what I could have done to prevent that whole thing in the first place. It's how your eyes work. Understand why you seeing bullshit. Exactly. You bullshit. Because I did some part in there to partake for it to happen. Cause and effect, baby. You see bullshit, you bullshit. Exactly. <laughs> That's why I make changes. You see good, you good. You good. Everything's a reflection of what you are. It's a reflection of what and you are. And everybody see. is you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> niggas, that's going to go over a lot of niggas' head. Yo, where can they find you? Yeah. Where can they find you everywhere? They can find me on uh, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all that shit. But it's all ABM underscore CT. That's on Instagram. On TikTok, it's just ABM CT. Just, if you type in ABM CT, you're going to find me. Yeah, you are. Facts. You're going to find me. You know, so, yeah, look me up. Oh, shit. Yeah, and yeah, my bad. We, we do have a podcast starting up. You know, it's called um, the TNT Game Show, mm, mm. right? We do have one starting up, and um, we're going to do something. Facts. It's only, <laughs> it's only up from here. 
That's facts. It. That's only up from Facts, the man. Y'all energy is so amazing. I love this. Like, it's amazing. I love this. We locked in. It's amazing. We locked in for locked life. Locked in. Yeah. Thank mm-hmm. you guys for tuning in. Follow us. WNW Podcast on Instagram and Weed and Whiskey Podcast every motherfucking place. Weed and Whiskey. Don't act like I ain't know that shit already. Podcast. Run it up. Let's go. <laughs> oh, the real. Be great. Oh, that was fun.